Alexander I. Theopater Eurgetes, surnamed Ballas, was the ruler of the Greek Seleucid Kingdom in 150 summer 152, August 145 BC. Alexander defeated Demetrius I. Soter for the crown in 150 BC. Ruling briefly. He lost the crown to Demetrius II Nicator during his defeat at the Battle of Antioch in Syria, dying shortly after. His reign marks the beginning of the disintegration of the Seleucid realm, with important eastern satrapies such as Media being lost to the Nascent Parthian Empire. Alexander Ballas claimed to be the son of Antiochus IV Epiphanes and Laodice IV and heir to the Seleucid throne. The ancient sources, Polybius and Diodorus say that this claim was false and that he and his sister Laodice Vi were really natives of Smyrna of humble origin. Modern scholars disagree about whether this is true or was propaganda put about by Alexander's opponents. According to Diodorus, Alexander was originally put forward as a candidate for the Seleucid throne by Attalus II of Pergamum. Attalus had been disturbed by the Seleucid king Demetrius I's interference in Cappadocia, where he had dethroned King Ariarathes V. Boris Krabasic is skeptical, noting that there is little subsequent evidence for Attalid involvement with Alexander. However, Selene Pasoma has proposed that a large set of coins minted in a number of cities under Attalid control in this period was produced by Attalus II in order to fund Alexander's bid for the kingship. Alexander and his sister were maintained in Cilicia by Heraclides, a former minister of Antiochus IV and brother of Timarchus, an usurper in Media who had been executed by the reigning king Demetrius I Soter. In 153 BC, Heraclides brought Alexander and his sister to Rome, where he presented Alexander to the Roman Senate, which recognized him as the legitimate Seleucid king and agreed to support him in his bid to take the throne. Polybius mentions that Attalus II and Demetrius I also met with the Senate at this time but does not state how this was connected to the recognition of Alexander, if at all. Silver coin of Alexander I Ballas. The Greek inscription reads Beta Alpha Sigma Iota Lambda Epsilon Omega Sigma Alpha Lambda Epsilon Chi Alpha Nu Delta Rho Omicron Upsilon. The date Gamma Xi Rho is year 164 of the Seleucid era, corresponding to 149 to 148 BC. After recruiting mercenaries, Alexander and Heraclides departed to Ephesus. From there, they invaded Phoenicia by sea, seizing Ptolemaeus Acho. Numismatic evidence shows that Alexander had also gained control of Seleucia Pyria, Byblus, Beirut, Tyre by 151 BC. On this coinage, Alexander heavily advertised his connection to Antiochus IV depicting Zeus Nikephorus on his coinage as Antiochus had done. He also assumed the title of Theopater, which recalled Antiochus' epithet Theos Epiphanes. The coinage also presented Alexander Ballas in the guise of Alexander the Great, with pronounced facial features and long flowing hair. This was intended to emphasize his military prowess to his soldiers. Alexander and Demetrius I competed with another to win over Jonathan Aphis, the leader of the ascendant faction in Judea. Jonathan was won over to Alexander's side by the grant of a high position in the Seleucid court and the high priesthood in Jerusalem. Reinforced by Jonathan's hardened soldiers, Alexander fought a decisive battle with Demetrius in July 150 BC, in which Demetrius was killed. By autumn, Alexander's kingship was recognized throughout the Seleucid realm. Marriage commemorative of Alexander I. Ballas and Cleopatra Thea. Alexander gained control of Antioch at this time and his chancellor, Ammonius, murdered all the courtiers of Demetrius I, as well as his wife Laodice and his eldest son Antigonus. Ptolemy the sixth Philometer of Egypt entered into an alliance with Alexander, which was sealed by Alexander's marriage to his daughter Cleopatra Thea. The wedding took place at Ptolemaeus, with Ptolemy the sixth and Jonathan Aphis in attendance. Alexander took the opportunity to shower honors on Jonathan, whom he treated as his main agent in Judea. The marriage was advertised by a special coinage issue, depicting the royal pair side by side, only the second depiction of a queen on Seleucid coinage. She is shown with divine attributes and is depicted in front of the king. Some scholars have seen Alexander as little more than a Ptolemaic puppet, arguing that this coinage emphasizes Cleopatra's dominance over him and that the Chancellor Ammonius was a Ptolemaic agent. Other scholars argue that the alliance was advertised as an important one, but that the arguments for Alexander's subservience have been overstated. Meanwhile the Seleucid positions in the eastern upper satrapies, already weakened by the previous king's failure to contain the Parthians and the Greco-Bactrians, suffered almost complete collapse. The Parthians under Mithridates I took advantage of the general instability to invade Media. 
the region had been lost to Seleucid control by the middle of 148 BC. At around the same time the local nobles in Elimes and Persis asserted their own ephemeral independence, only to be soon also subdued by the Parthians. By 148 BC at the latest the Parthians also secured their hold over Hyrcania at the coast of the Caspian Sea. By 147 BC the Parthians stood at the doorsteps of Babylonia, one of the Seleucid Empire's hearthlands and location of one of its two capital cities, Seleucia on Tigris. Alexander is not recorded to do anything of note to stem this catastrophe. His inability or unwillingness to deal with the crisis discredited his regime and contributed to his reputation as a person who committed himself to a life of debauchery. He was reputed to hand the administration over to two commanders, Hyrax and Diodotus, neither of whom seemed to care for anything but their own interests. While this representation might be partially a product of his opponent's propaganda, Alexander allowed the empire to slip away from a position of power. Coin of Demetrius II Nicator In early 147 BC Demetrius' son Demetrius II returned to Syria with a force of Cretan mercenaries led by a man called Lasthenes. Much of Coel Syria was lost to him immediately, possibly as a result of the succession of the regional commander. Jonathan attacked Demetrius's position from the south, seizing Jaffa and Ashdod, while Alexander Ballas was occupied with a revolt in Cilicia. In 145 BC Ptolemy VI of Egypt invaded Syria, ostensibly in support of Alexander Ballas. In practice, Ptolemy's intervention came at a heavy cost, with Alexander's permission, he took control of all the Seleucid cities along the coast, including Seleucia Pyria. He may also have started minting his own coinage in the Syrian cities. While he was at Ptolemy Asako, however, Ptolemy switched sides. According to Josephus, Ptolemy discovered that Alexander's chancellor, Ammonius, had been plotting to assassinate him, but when he demanded that Ammonius be punished, Alexander refused. Ptolemy remarried his Cleopatra Thea to Demetrius II and continued his march northward. Alexander's commanders of Antioch, Diodotus, and Hyrax, surrendered the city to Ptolemy. Alexander returned from Cilicia with his army, but Ptolemy VI and Demetrius II defeated his forces in a battle at the Enoparas River. Earlier, Alexander had sent his infant son Antiochus to an Arabian dynast called Zabdiel Diocles. Alexander now fled to Arabia in order to join up with Zabdiel, but he was killed. Sources disagree about whether the killer was a pair of his own generals who had decided to switch sides or Zabdiel himself. Alexander's severed head was brought to Ptolemy, who also died shortly after from wounds sustained in the battle. Zabdiel continued to look after Alexander's infant son Antiochus, until 145 BC when the general Diodotus declared him king, in order to serve as the figurehead of a rebellion against Demetrius II. In 130 BC. Another claimant to the throne, Alexander Zabinas, would also claim to be Alexander Ballas' son, almost certainly spuriously. Alexander is the title character of the oratorio Alexander Ballas, written in 1747 by George Friedrich Handel. Thanks for watching.